So we've been renting for the past four years that we've been together, but we've rented since we graduated high school. But um, I actually went home at the end of January up to my parents' house in New York and just talked about people buying houses and things. So um, I came back, and then a week later, I actually saw a Rocket Mortgage commercial on TV. It was just a, kind of a on a Saturday afternoon drinking co- or morning drinking coffee. And He's like, what's so, your hey, social? Let's see, let's see what and I'm like, oh, I don't know, whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. It was very, like, yeah. not hey, what's your social? Hey, I'm yeah. getting coffee. This is a good coffee. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what's your social? Yeah. <laughs> it was always one of those things that it seems so daunting when you when you think about it. Right. And then it seems so far out of reach, but it's really not as far out of reach as what, it, you know, what, what people might think. Then um, the lender we were currently working with had a program to connect you with a realtor. So I reached out to them and they connected us with this other person. And she kind of turned into just a, almost like a taxi driver for us to drive us around look at houses. But what we were expecting wasn't really there. I mean, we looked at probably 30 houses. She didn't listen to us and like what we were looking for. She didn't make any, make any recommendations. And, you know, I wanted to be more in the city, but Adam wanted the community and the pool and certain other elements. And so we had tried to find that happy medium, but there wasn't. Jess- went, Jessica was doing all the home, the home search. Yeah. And just her whole approach with like closing costs and saying, oh, I've never had buyers ask for closing costs before. And, you know, like things like yeah. that. Like that was yeah. like her big thing. And after we've had a bunch of friends recently buy houses and they all talked about how, you know, how much they had in closing costs and this and this and this and how they negotiated. And with her, it didn't seem like there was any room for negotiation whatsoever. But there's so many pieces to buying a house that we just didn't, like... She never asked about tax rates. We never knew that. And actually, there was one house we were going to put an offer in on. And after seeing what the monthly payment was, I'm like, this is way higher than what I would have expected. But it was the same price And she's like, well, it shouldn't matter. The price of the house and the taxes shouldn't make a big deal. I'm like... But it does. It, it absolutely does. So and and those are the kind of things that but, nobody, like, she didn't bring that to our attention. And she could only meet on Saturdays in the mornings for three hours, if that. So it, there was a lag between, because there were houses that we wanted to see, and then by the time we would see them, it would be option pending. And, like, so there wasn't, yeah. there was a huge disconnect. And then, I don't know, and then we met you at the open house. So I was going to ask, how did we, because I, you know, but that's right. Everybody. Yeah, we met you. So, that yeah. she couldn't come with us, that, too. Yeah, the after, we were with her that morning, and then we knew about the open house for that one, so we wanted to go to that no matter what. Okay. So we went to that open house, and, and you know, you guys gave us such a good impression when we were talking with you that, you know, it really stuck in our minds. So the friendliness, the, un, the I guess, being so knowledgeable about, about the things that we would ask, I mean, going up and looking in the attic like we did, I mean, that really, it meant, it meant a you lot. You remember like, now. It was very... <laughs> Yeah. We were those yeah. people <laughs> oh, talking yeah, about yeah. the bathroom we wanted to add in yeah, to the yeah, I mean, yeah. meditation yeah. room. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, just a good just a good general vibe and feeling. I mean it was it didn't feel like it was the typical you go in and you're just trying to sell us the house. It was you were actually cared. Cared about us if it was what we needed mm-hmm. for you know Or the so, right fit for yeah. us and like our potentially growing family in the future and it wasn't a selling, it was more of a talking to a friend. I mean, and you had the book at the front that had like all the school zone districts and taxes and this and HOAs and yeah, all of the information, which none of the other houses we looked at, none of the other realtors had that information and which was kind of a surprise because like I was kind of doing my own research with it. And I mean, this is the next chapter in our life. So we wanted, it's like you're professional, but friends at the same time and you genuinely care about our well-being and our interest Mm -hmm. and if we were making a potentially really awful decision, you would have, I think, told us. <laughs> no, I yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. Well, hopefully and trust. Yeah. Sure. yeah. I think it was a mutual trust, trust yeah. too. Yeah. Be very we, yeah. yeah and, I th- and I think it, you have to trust your agent. You have to be able to trust that what they're telling you is legit. And especially, we're not from here. This is our first home. I feel like we're in, we even we need even more guidance and, and more care than a typical, you know. That was what we were gonna get by working with you guys. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. And so we thank had, you. As soon as we, <laughs> as soon as we, we lost out on that house, we were we were pretty bummed about it. Yeah. But we also had that was one of the initial factors of our prior agent that we we're like I could not see her doing what you guys did at that open house if we were selling. And so yeah. Sophia was wonderful, but then when if you didn't know the answer to the question, you would work with your team and Patrick and Deborah and. 
whoever like you would ask you wouldn't just make something up and so we really appreciated that because before with the the previous person I felt like I couldn't trust what she was actually telling me and so we really appreciated the you know and that you're both here now and I mean that was really important that you both came today for the final walkthrough and yeah yeah it makes it more special yeah